This video is sponsored by GE Profile. We need to talk. Our phones are capable of doing way more than just making phone calls, obviously, and they become kind of an invaluable tool in most of our lives. But it kind of feels, and tell me if you agree, that a lot of the other tech in our daily lives is kind of lagging behind in that functionality. Well, after checking out GE Profiles Innovation Studio in Louisville, Kentucky last summer, they showed me a ton of things that appliances are able to do right now that I didn't realize, and even some things that they're going to be doing in the near future. And I think maybe finally, kitchen appliances at least, are starting to catch up to our phones. Let me show you what I mean. Puppies. So firstly, just like your phone, we have voice assistants like Alexa and Google Home. On some smart appliances, you can use Alexa to tell it to preheat the oven or see what temperature it's currently at. It's at 198 degrees Fahrenheit. On the dishwasher here, we can ask Alexa if the dishes are done yet, set the number of washing pods that you have, and Alexa will automatically reorder them as you run low. And the dryer can even tell you when it's time to fold your clothes. And since a ton of appliances now are Wi-Fi enabled, you can actually use their specific apps, like the GE Smart HQ one here for these appliances to do a ton of other neat tricks. This GE Profile Smart Slide-In Induction Range, for example, has a camera in it that you can use to check on the food, and you can also change the temperature remotely, even if you're not home. You can set a cook timer as well, get notifications when food is done, your water filter in the fridge needs to be replaced, turn off the oven if it notifies you that you accidentally left it on, or have the dishwasher notify you if it detects a leak. Most smart fridges now allow you to change the temperature in the fridge and freezer remotely. And on this G Profile smart fridge, adjust the convertible drawer to a temp specific for beverages, for example, to quickly cool them right before a party. You can also use it to chill your wine too. Speaking of phone stuff on this fridge, remember the Pixel 4 and how it used radar and its motion sense technology to kind of tell what you were doing in front of the phone with your hand so that you could use gestures without having to touch the phone? Well, this kind of has something similar, albeit sonar instead of radar. We can have it automatically fill up any cup with water to the exact amount needed without having to touch it at all. I don't know why that impresses me so much. This oven has a touch screen, you know, like a phone that you can use to control everything you normally would on it, but also tap the food that you put in there, put a thermometer probe in the item, and it'll automatically cook it to the done setting that you choose. Like why hasn't touch screens at the very least become standard on all of our appliances? Smart appliances can even talk to each other now, like how this smart washer can know what settings that you used for the wash, and then the dryer will automatically adjust its settings based on what you did. I'm still waiting for a robot that folds my clothes for me though. Maybe, maybe one day. Also, since the appliances are connected to the internet, you can use free services like If This Then That to have other connected items perform actions based on what the appliances are doing and vice versa. For example, you can have your lights change color whenever the dishwasher is done. Something else that kind of blew my mind is the fact that these appliances can get updates over the air and gain new features just like a phone. That same oven receives an update to enable a no preheat air fry mode. So there's no need to go buy a separate air fryer. Just everyone who has this oven got that ability through a software update instantly. And last month, I came up here to my sister's house upstate and we had Thanksgiving dinner. And right before the oven received a turkey mode update to allow it to automatically cook a full turkey without any intervention. Now, honestly, again, it's feels like smartphones have kind of just been way ahead of all of our other tech. But it's nice to start to see at least our home appliances catching up. Now, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Always appreciate hearing from you guys. Again, shout out to GE Profile for sponsoring this video. You can check out their appliances at the link below. And as always, thanks for watching. So just like your, nope. Okay, nope. <laughs> Loud noises. They just <laughs> everywhere I go. It's fine.